the jellyfish kid. A bright morning began as SpongeBob woke up from his dream, where he caught his first jellyfish. Well, it was just a dream. He immediately rushed to wake up Patrick, who was still sleeping, as well as Sandy. Hey, don't forget about Councillor Squidward, SpongeBob reminded. Squidward, startled, ended up blowing the clarinet in his mouth, which made Mr. Krabs extremely angry with him. Fun fact, SpongeBob said, jellyfish can lift a thousand times their own way. Oh my god, Larry didn't want to be outdone. He demonstrated what he could do. Before catching jellyfish, Plankton the cook had prepared breakfast for the kids. But is it delicious? What do you think? Everyone was ready, but Patrick kept procrastinating the jellyfish capture. He went to the bathroom and retrieved his forgotten net, making SpongeBob increasingly frustrated with Patrick. Just as the whistle was about to blow, there was a sudden announcement. SpongeBob received a call from his mother. The others had already started the competition, but SpongeBob had to go to Mr. Krabs' office. So, <laughs> Hastily and disappointedly, SpongeBob went there. Unable to focus on his phone, SpongeBob's gaze was drawn to the jellyfish in front of him. He immediately ran after the jellyfish, but look at what SpongeBob did. Strangely, every time SpongeBob caught something, he thought it was a jellyfish, even though it was something else. How could that be? Patrick taught SpongeBob how to catch jellyfish, but time and time again, SpongeBob failed to do it. All the glitters is not all that jet. At night, all the participants released the jellyfish they had caught, except for SpongeBob, who couldn't catch any jellyfish. Alive. <laughs> to cheer up SpongeBob, Patrick and Sandy devised a plan. They asked Squidward to pretend to be a jellyfish. With Sandy's persuasion, Squidward agreed. Cause you feel guilty about getting SpongeBob all stung up. But as usual, things didn't go smoothly. Squidward fell from a height and repeatedly hit the coral. When SpongeBob tried to catch Squidward, suddenly. A large eye looked in their direction. It turned out to be a monster. Sandy said that what they ate earlier was not a jellyfish but Squidward in disguise. They immediately rescued Squidward. The monster ran towards the camp. There, it went on a rampage and fought SpongeBob. And finally, SpongeBob was also eaten by the monster. Oh my god. Everyone started to panic and feel scared. But clever SpongeBob had a way to escape from the monster's stomach. SpongeBob? No, oh, please. And a bubble appeared, making the monster grow larger. The monster flew away and vomited a bubble containing Squidward and SpongeBob. <laughs> The monster ran off when Sandy tried to give it Plankton's food. It turned out the monster also knew which food was not tasty. Because SpongeBob failed to catch jellyfish, he didn't receive the badge. But Mr. Krabs was kind-hearted and gave him a badge that read Save the Counselor. I love this girl! And the story ended with a beautiful night, together with the jellyfish. So, that was SpongeBob's adventure in search of jellyfish. How about that? Are you interested in the continuation? Watch it in the next video.